same idea that George just brought up. They actually have a project for that working in conjunction with the city of El Paso. That a number of other things I think they're doing is good. Now to talk to Ken. Rusty Griffin, after the SPL meeting, I managed to talk to him for a while. And it was not private. There were many people standing well within earshot. Told me that no members of the Huey board would be accepted unless they fully supported the project. I also asked him how many uh, members of the Huey board were from the county and not from the Valdez? Zero. At the recent Huey public meeting, the same question was read out, and yes, I said it in. The answer was one. Okay, it's nice that you're going to have a big meeting where you're going to invite everybody. Good, good. That should have been done before the idea of unification was even considered. And it's good to try to do it, but I don't hear that there's going to be any results before the attempt to put the referendum on the ballot. And also, when you're securely bored, there's only one member from the county. This is not diversification. This is not representative of the people. This is a small pressure group, and we know in the room, hey, this is personal against you. It's a small pressure group of self-styled leaders of the community who are trying to decide for the rest of us. Now, the real reason that I am opposed to QE, which is why I'm standing up here, I'm opposed to unification. I don't want anybody to think just because George didn't mention me that I'm for it, is exactly what he said when he started talking about it. He's here because he believes. We're talking about education. We're not talking about religion. Public schools are not churches. If we're going to have school unification, I don't want to do it because I hear people say, I believe. I want to hear their plan for how they will improve education throughout the city of Alaska and the county of Wyoming. And there is no plan. In fact, their very own research says that it will not improve the So their very own research says it won't work. Plus, as far as education, yeah, I admire Mrs. Council, though we have to, because she is literally the discussion when she came in the door in the history of this area for a good reason. The school information is not available. There are a dozen metropolitan areas in this state. Not a single one of them has a unified school district throughout the metropolitan area. Not one. Excuse me? 21. Okay, how many of them have a unified school district throughout the area? 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. 21. So that's basically what I have to say is just one more thing. That if you look at which county in this area was the fastest growing in the last decade, it wasn't Brown, it wasn't Brooks, it had no growth. It was Lanier. 